Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what are the requirements for vertical gel electrophoresis and horizontal gel electrophoresis. To begin with, I will first explain the setup and the requirements of vertical gel electrophoresis. Now, for this, you will require glass plates. Now, the glass plates which are used over here, the first one is a plain glass plate and the another one is a glass plate with the notch which you can see over here. Now, how to do the setup that I am going to explain. So, you have to place them like this. These are known as spacers. So, there are two spacers. So, the, the, the spacer is having one plain side and one side with the notch. So, you have to keep the spacer in such a manner that the side which is having notch should be facing inwards and the side which is plain which should be facing outwards. Similarly, you have to pl place another spacer also. In this manner, you have to do the setup. You have to seal these plates with the agarose and then you can place this particular setup in this particular this cassette into the gel apparatus now how to place it in order to perform the electrophoresis is the side which is having notch that is this side of the plate should be facing inwards that is towards the wall in this manner you are supposed to place this okay so in this manner you are supposed to place so the glass slide which glass uh, glass plate which is having notch should be inwards now we are supposed to do or fix the electrodes or you, uh, now we are going to fix it with the help of a spacers and this setup we are going to fix it like this with the screws so it has screws you have to put put this and you have to fix it with the help of screws so it will go like this and we have to place it now similarly on the other side also you are going to place this and you are going to fix it the screws you have to make the screws tight now here you will add tank buffer here also you will add tank buffer and in between the glass plates you will add the polyacrylamide gel and Finally, once your setup is done, what you are going to do is, you are going to give the electric supply using the electrodes like black to black and red to red. Now, what about fixing the comb? Once you have poured the gel into this, you have to use the comb which will go between these two plates. So it will go like this and you have to insert that in order to make a uh, in order to make a gel okay so it will go like this and once your gel gets polymerized you are supposed to remove the comb the gel will get polymerized you have removed the comb then you will load the sample and then you will uh, apply these electrodes to the power pack this is called as power pack now you are going to attach this red electrode to the red electrode and black to black electrode. Here you can see on this power pack there is a voltage adjustment. So if you want to run at high voltage you can use the 100 volt option and if you want to run on the lower voltage you can use the 50 volt as well as here 150 and 200 options are also available. So as per your requirements, you can do it. So here you can see these are the electrodes, negative and positive, black and red. And you are supposed to attach. So this is the whole setup for vertical gel electrophoresis apparatus. Thank you so much for watching.